Heidi Mai Cancer, welcome to your August 2015 tarot reading with me. I can't believe it's August already, the year seems to have disappeared so quickly. Anyhow, these are new cards that we are going to be using which have been designed by John Holland who is a well-known medium and psychic. They're tarot cards but he has changed the um, format of them and some of the primary meanings so I'll um, incorporate the older tarot style meanings as well as his. Now for this month we'll be doing four cards and then we will do a fifth card which will be what challenges you for the month and at the end we'll do some high vibrational light cards again. So I shall shuffle them a little bit for you and then you will see what I mean by the changes that have been made. So this is Cancer for 2015 August reading. Let's see what's in store for you guys. Okay. The first one is 12, Sacrifice. Now this is actually a major arcana card. The black borders represent the major arcanas. Number, the second card is number 2. With the red border, movement, choices and decisions. The third card for the third week in August is number two. Got lots of twos in your reading, Cancer. The waiting game. And this is the purple border, which represents the wands traditionally, which represent fire signs. And also from his perspective, this purple represents spirit and red represents our physical side of life. Your fourth card for the fourth week is Deception and Envy, number seven. And this is the blue, which would be the swords, and it's the mental side of our life. Your fifth card, which is going to be what challenges you, is number 20, and it's a major arcana card, and it's called Truth. So, with no further ado, let's start working through these cards. So, your first week of August with the Major Arcana number 12 is called Sacrifice. That card would normally represent the Hanged Man. Now traditionally we say when the Hanged Man turns up it's as if you're at a crossroad in life, as if you are wondering do you go left or right. There's something that could be changing in either your environment or your feelings or just the who you are in life. There could be decisions you are thinking of making that you're not sure which way to go. And possibly also the hanged man can mean that things are um, slowed up, that decisions are slowed. So things that you might wish to have go quicker don't appear to be going as quickly as you would like. I will read the meanings from his um, words as well for this particular card. I think one of the most beautiful parts of the whole card is this rainbow energy light that's coming into her mind and the power of our minds and the transformation that can take place. So his words are as follow. Powerful achievements are usually born as a result of great sacrifice. This card represents self-sacrifice in a time when you should look around your life to see, to, need, to see what needs to be released. By surrendering and letting go, there will be more room to receive. The rewards for this are transformation, wisdom, gratitude and enlightenment. This card signifies that there's a situation happening or about to occur in your life and you can't control the outcome. This would be a good moment to pause, rest, have patience, reflect and meditate. It would be wise to stand back so you can learn to look at events with a more understanding, intuitive eye. Try to view people, issues or problems from a different perspective. If you can achieve this, it will have a profound effect on your soul and life. The sacrifice card can also symbolize a period of transition and change. The solutions you seek may be slow in coming for it could be necessary to live into the answers. Accept the things that you can't control. Heal and leave the past behind. Move towards your future and watch for new doors opening and paths that are being shown for you. Well, that's quite a profound way to start your August. So the feel to be 
some pretty big yeah, transformational changes going on either with you or in your life around you and people therein. So let's come to number two, the second week, which is the number two card, and it's got this red border, and it's called Movement Choices and Decisions. So this red would normally be the two of pentacles, representing earth signs or earth rising sign energies as well. The two of pentacles is often um, about movement. We see it normally represented as a sort of a man holding two coins with the cycle of life symbol. Um, entwining the coins so there feels as though a juggling essence might be occurring and it could be around financial or career thoughts or energies because this is definitely the physical manifestation plane of life and these are um, in the background there are some material objects there's coins there's rings there's a plant so it's he's contemplating choices and decisions within a lot of those um, areas of life and it does have the feeling of movement sometimes even um, shifting houses or travel or thinking along those type of lines so that's the second week of August for you guys now we come to the third week and we see another two so you have got so many twos in your reading now twos represent um, often partnerships and duality of course so there's always two sides to us it's as if you know are you needing to see the other half of something either it's a partnership or the other half of yourself or a different side there's something along those messages or lines but this one here with the purple border represents the wands which is the our spirit and it is the fire sign so such as the Sagittarians, Leos and Aries and this is a waiting game so the two of wands traditionally was a man who had two wands beside him and we see here that John Holland has particularly portrayed it is about waiting you have got a lot in this reading about waiting and needing to um, I don't know accept things for what they are without being able to change them so the wands are definitely creative in, th in thought so it's about our spirituality and it's about our creativity and it is often about pairing up or being in a partnership and it can be about new beginnings so if we were thinking of um, anyone looking to that artistic or creative sector of life you could be considering or, or find a whole new wealth of ideas flowing into your mind or opportunities coming your way that will head you in that direction even if you're thinking about it from a work perspective it says here a waiting game but generally it's considered favorable the wait time is you will learn and be patient while you're waiting but often the outcome is favorable he mentions that once the success has come from the waiting period, remember the who you are and the effort that it took you to get to this point and make sure you carry that part of you forward as well, because that in essence is part of you. So if we come to your third week, you have here the seven, and this is the blue boundary borders, which would normally be the swords, which represent the air people, or the Aquarians, the Libras and the Geminis. And the Seven of Swords has always been basically about um, deception and envy, if you like. It's also about um, sometimes deceiving yourself. And we get that over here with the sacrifice. So it's about making sure you're being honest with yourself. And there are choices to make around you. And sometimes you think, gosh, what choices am I going to make? Do I stay with this part of me or do I go on to something new? So sometimes... Um, it's a feeling of unknown outcomes or uncertainty around decisions you're making or people that you're with. I think often when this card turns up, if you're thinking of signing any legal documents, make sure that they are fully represented and correctly done. Because often this is a time when the word deception is there, that little legalities can be dropped off and not... Um, adhered to and if you're the person signing up for something such as a lease on a, a rental property or a car 
or paying over money to purchase something, you need to make sure that it's been done correctly. It's sometimes not even on purpose, it's just that things can be missed out or left off that need to be on for your own safety. So that's about it for your uh, weeks during the August period. Lots of lovely colour in the cards, quite a lot of contemplative thought stuff going on and possible changes for you guys, Cancer. Um, so as we move now to your card that challenges you for the month, this is number 20, which is Truth. Now this is known as the Judgment card in the traditional tarot. And the judgment has often been um, a card of uncertain, uh, not origins, but uncertain messages because there seem to be so many different messages on the card. Traditionally it's the beautiful angel heralding above people who are um, floating in boxes on the sea and they seem to have had a revelation of truth shown to them. So I will now read to you the words that John Holland has written in his little booklet because they are really rather powerful. And since this is the card that, or the energy rather, that challenges you for the month, this message might be quite poignant. The qualities of this card illustrate spiritual awakening, clarity, the revelation of truth and cosmic consciousness. At times it takes a wake-up call to get your attention and show how far you need to go. This card comes forth to do just that. Evaluation of the past, along with the lessons that you've learned or still need to understand, must now be a top priority. Doing so will enable you to forgive, accept and heal so that you can move forward in a balanced spiritual mindset. The Truth card reminds you that a significant change must be made in a certain area of your life. Don't make any hasty decisions. Take your time for any choices or alterations must be weighed and evaluated with the most careful and wisest of judgments. Whatever steps you take now will have far-reaching consequences, more than you'll ever know. Using the powers of the universe and blending them with a little help from the physical world will assist you in bringing about clarity and a shift of awareness. What was once not obvious will now be realised and understood. Be honest with yourself and trust what you know to be true. So there we are Cancer, I think you've got a very um, deep message for August. There's a lot of um, personal in-depth stuff seemingly going on around you or or you have the ability to uplift it if you choose to. Uh, what we will do, we will finish off the reading with these beautiful white light energy cards and see what message comes your way from these as well. So we haven't used these for a little while so we'll just um, shuffle them a bit. And if any of you are interested in the stones that are in the reading, this um, little creamy one is a merlinite and this is a turquoise oh wanted to jump off and go somewhere this is a turquoise and this is the calcite mangano so let's lay these cards down and see what you're going to select for august uriel freedom Wow, I think that does match this feeling of, um, and it comes to you through the purple ray, which is the third eye centre, which is, you know, your thought processes and your spirituality as well. So it's a beautiful essence to be offered freedom. Is it freedom from worry or freedom from shackles or belief or, or um, relationships? It's freedom from something. This person here is just soaring freely you know just that essence of wonderful feeling when we have freedom and I think for me the message that's coming is freedom from fears or something a release from worry or, or all that work that you were perhaps putting in in August and the the contemplation you were making and the juxtapositions you were coming to about who you are or leaving something behind or accepting something new there's this feeling of light and floatingness around it 
and that maybe somehow towards the end of August you, f you feel the freedom coming in with a choice you make or a direction you're going in. So know that you have this wonderful support mechanism and this high vibration energy of Uriel to take you into the whole beautiful new boundary of freedom. So thank you guys for listening and subbing and liking the videos and passing them along. I love doing them for you. I just feel it's a real gift to be able to pass positive messages along. And I do appreciate your comments that you leave and everything else. So again, from me to you, thank you. Namaste. And have a wonderful August ahead. Much aroha, peace, love and light.